Hey everyone. So today I went yard sailing and I just have to make a rant video. I haven't done one of these in a while and there's just something that I have to get off my chest as far as like what pissed me off today while I was yard sailing. Well, a couple things pissed me off. So I'm going to talk about them. Um, this was just a really bad day yard sailing. It didn't start off well and it just progressively got worse as the day went on. And, okay, let's see. The first thing that pissed me off today was, and but before I really get into everything, I just want to say this is just stuff that, like, angers me. You guys might think that, like, like, why is she getting pissed off at something so stupid? To me, it pissed me off. These are just my feelings towards what I'm about to tell you guys. So, First yard sale I went to, I wanted to go because the Craigslist ad said that, you know, there was going to be all sorts of things there that, you know, would interest me. So, it was the first yard sale we went to. It was going on 8 o'clock. Normally, and I say normally, if you're going to have a yard sale, be prepared to have it start around 7. I know that seems really, really early, but 7 o'clock is when typically most yard sales start. Um, you get people who come even earlier than that, so if you want to make money, you have to be up and you have to be prepared for them or else they're just going to leave and you're not going to make any money. So it's really no point of you digging your stuff out if, you know, you're not willing to be up for your customers. So 7 o'clock, typically when yard sales start, um, 8 o'clock would be probably the latest as far as a start time. So it was going on 8 o'clock at this point when I got to the yard sale and the people were still setting it up, which were which was fine, you know, I mean, you might not have everything set up by then, whatever. Um, you know, I don't care if I have to wait while they're setting things up, it doesn't matter to me. Um, but anyway, they asked, you know, if I was there for a specific thing, yada, 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 and I told them, and they said that the lady who was selling those things wasn't there yet. So, you know, I mean, here is a willing customer ready to hand over money, and she's not even at the sale. So, I was just looking around at their other stuff, and, I mean, they were, their prices were outrageous. They had fake purses, which is no big deal. Um, a lot of people sell fake purses. I don't, I don't care. Um, but they wanted a ton of money for them, like $10 plus for a fake purse. I bought real ones at yard sales for $5, you know? So that was kind of, you know, made me like, eh. Like, I didn't even really want to look around at their stuff. So then, um, they did have, like, some makeup, but it was all, like, used and just gross looking. Like, if you were going to sell used stuff like that, at least have the decency to like clean it off. Um, it just looks like they put on their makeup that day, brought their makeup bag outside and just kind of like threw it on the table. Like you could at least have the decency to like wipe off like makeup residue or you know anything like that off of the containers before you set them out and not ask a dollar for a half used makeup item. Like you can buy brand new makeup stuff at the dollar store. So I was just really turned off um, at the very first yard sale that we stopped at. These are just, this is just how I feel about these things. Okay, so anyway, that's how my day started. So later on, we go to a yard sale, and it was a really big yard sale. They had just boxes upon boxes upon boxes upon boxes upon boxes upon boxes, upon boxes of stuff. And... As I was digging through it, like, you know, you had to dig through it. There was no not digging through the boxes because they did not have anything set up. Like, they were just, you know, you dig through the box, that's how this yard sale is working kind of deal. So, as I was digging through these boxes, I'm finding things that are kind of weirding me out. Like, photographs, pictures of people. And I'm not talking about pictures you find in photo frames of you know, people who are just posing for stuff. I'm talking about actual pictures just randomly tossed in these boxes, bags that have holes in them that look like, you know, mice were in in the stuff or something like that. Just really gross 
weird, weird shit, okay? So, I'm looking through things and, you know, I'm thinking how weird it is. Like, well, maybe someone passed away or I don't know. Like, I'm trying not to think about, you know, why all this stuff's in this yard sale. But I was finding things that were interesting me. I found a couple pieces of dollhouse furniture for my dollhouse. Um, I found, like, a half-used bottle of cologne, which I was going to give to my dad. Um, I found a dried-up chicken foot, which sounds <laughs> incredibly fucking weird, but I collect, you know, weird things, so I threw it in my box. I was like, I'm buying this. Where will I ever find a dried-up chicken foot ever again? So I threw it in my box. Um, I found a ton, a ton of really nice, like, primitive home decor that I was going to send to Pam. So, Pam, if you're watching this, I am so sorry. Um, I put that all in my box, and I was going to send her a package of all this really awesome primitive stuff because I know how much she loves it. And I was just, like, so tickled pink with the stuff I was finding. And, I mean, I was really skeezed about, you know, the other stuff I was finding, like the pictures, and I opened this box that had, like, baby stuff in it, like, baby memento type things, which was really weirding me out. And then, um, what else did I find? I found a bong, I found a glass pipe that had, like, residue still left in it. I mean, I'm talking, like, everything was in these boxes, shit that should not have been in these boxes. So, I say we were there for like a half an hour, at least possibly longer than that, digging through these boxes. And it wasn't just us. I mean, the yard sale was full of people. I mean, it was a really big yard sale. And it seemed like it was kind of like a family thing. I mean, there were people, you know, there that obviously were related, yada, yada, yada. So me and my mom finish, and we are ready to get, we're ready to check out. And we go up to the lady, and the lady's like, oh, none of this stuff is mine. Um, the woman that it belongs to is on her way. If you want to sit in here and come back later, then, you know, we'll hold it for you. And I'm thinking, why would, why would we do that? You know, who's to say it would still be there when we came back? You know, I was just kind of really weirded out by that. I was like, well, if she's on her way, we'll just wait and, like, look around some more until she gets there. And she's like, oh, okay, that's fine, that's fine. So, the lady comes, like, ten minutes, not even ten minutes later, and I guess the first woman that checks out, this lady's telling her she can't have anything. Okay. So, the lady walks, walks away, can't have anything that she picked up. I'm thinking, alright, that's kind of weird. So we get up there, she starts going through through the box and was like, nope, no, no, you can't have that, can't have that, nope, this is mine, no, this isn't for sale. Like everything in our box we were not allowed to buy. Um, I don't know if this woman was like one of those hoarder type people or what, but she refused to sell any of her stuff. and. I'm telling you, I had a half empty, almost a half empty bottle of cologne in that box, a dried up fucking chicken foot she would not get it rid of. So, like, I don't understand. I was like, whatever, you know, I can't believe I just wasted 35 of my fucking minutes looking through your boxes of junk and you're not willing to sell any of it? Like, I didn't tell her this because I'm not that kind of person. This is why I have YouTube and I'm able to, like, rant to you guys. But... I just couldn't believe that. Like, this woman obviously has some sort of problems. And I'm not saying that some of that stuff was legitimately her personal belongings and shouldn't have been sold at a yard sale. Like, the pictures and stuff like that. But there were obviously things in those boxes that she could have easily gotten rid of. Um, probably didn't need. She obviously didn't need them if they were all stored in like rat, well not necessarily rat infested, but you know, I did see mice mouth, you know, chew marks on like some plastic bags and stuff like that. If any of that kind of shit means something to you, you do not keep it stored in a in a garage or wherever um, thrown somewhere. You put your pictures in a photo album and you cherish them. You don't throw them in boxes and, you know, 
I don't know. It just it just pissed me off that like I spent all that time looking through the things and half the stuff I found I was going to give away to people and it just really angered me that you know, she could have just said I'm so sorry. This shouldn't have happened this way. Um these are my personal belongings. I am not comfortable selling them. Yada, yada, yada. Instead, it was all, no, no, you can't have this. This isn't for sale. No. Like, <sighs> I was so livid after I left there. Like, I'm still a little livid just because if you are going to have a yard sale, you need to make sure that it's stuff that you are willing to part with. You can't just, and I don't know, maybe it was, maybe her mom just, was fed up and told her, hey, you need to get this shit out of my garage or I'm getting rid of it. And that probably what it came down to. Her mom probably just took everything out of the garage and was like, she's just going to have to fucking deal with it. So I think that's kind of like what actually was going on because otherwise I don't understand why it was all out there to begin with. But it just really pissed me off and I'm sorry to Pam because... I wanted to get you that stuff so bad and oh my gosh a dried up chicken foot she wouldn't even let me have a dried up chicken foot I can't believe that oh my god <sighs> you guys people people are weird and I came home and I was like I'm just getting rid of everything like I I don't even want to have more than one of something because I don't want to seem like I'm hoarding anything so, anyway, that is my rant. Um, do you guys have any kind of similar stories that you went to yard sales and was told that you couldn't buy something that was clearly out in the yard sale section of the house? Like, I don't understand. Um, I will be flipping out about this for quite some time, just not being able to wrap my head around around the whole situation. It's just it's weird um but yeah the more I think about it the sadder it is that I feel for her she obviously has some sort of problem whether it be hoarding or you know emotional attachments to things that you know you really shouldn't have emotional attachments towards just junk so Anyway, that is my rant. I hope you guys like this video and don't think that like I'm crazy for getting pissed off about this. Um, it's just a dried up chicken foot. Ugh. Where can I get a dried up chicken foot other than that yard sale I was just at? If you guys have any idea, let me know because I really wanted it. I'm not even kidding. Like I collect weird stuff and I just I wanted the dried up chicken foot. <sighs> okay, well anyway, that is my rant. Hope you guys liked it.